I'm back at this newly found setup as you can see the last time I did it people actually really liked it and were like blown away I got good feedback on the quality and the lighting and blah blah blah, blah. so even though it takes a long time to set all of this up and um, yeah it's in my current room so why not try it out or have it look more professional I guess well um, I think the the title of this video is self-explanatory, explanatory, something like that. I wanted to explain why I did it and 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 what everything, the reason behind it is, and it's also the reason that I've been so busy at work the last couple of weeks because I had to hand over all the work that I've been doing and my vision for the for the product, the app. Who well, don't know what what I mean with that I'm a product owner slash project manager which means I build apps and websites and I have a vision for them and try to improve them look at user feedback and improve apps and websites to make them better to make a new uh, rebuild them from scratch not myself personally but I make the ideas with all the people in a organization and then I make it into well, let's say requirements or technical requirements for a development team of, of real geeks and real smart programmers to build the dream that I have created together with an organization. Or improve an existing dream to say so, product in this case. I've been doing that for the past two years. So after I finished my school, I knew that I am not your average school kid who just can start on this shitty job or just the basic job and the basic wage no i said to myself i have standards i know what my, what my qualities are i know how good i am in what i do at school so i think the gap between school and the real world was really small due to the fact that i had to do a lot of stuff in real companies during my school period so i was already rolled into the to do the business life i guess really good from my school to say so, to have such a system or such a way of teaching. So I'm really, really grateful for the study that I've done. But let's continue then with, with the fact that I am quitting my job. I wrote a whole script. This is not the whole script, but I wrote a script on my notes with what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, let's say that, that after that, I, I was looking for a job for a couple of months because I, I was shooting for a project management function and everyone with all the recruitment agencies and everyone was telling me, Oh, you really think that your first job is going to be your management position or project management or something in that, that direction, like a senior position? And I said to them, no, I don't think so, but I can try. And that's exactly what I did. I just kept on trying. And then after I realized that all the stuff, all the requirements for the function of a product owner, project manager are really in my street of stuff that I really like to do. I just started hitting up all kinds of functions and guess what? This company gave me a shot. They were very doubtful because I was very young and just came out of school um, of my experience and everything. But they gave me a shot and it turned out really, really well. And they are very happy or they were very happy with all my services and everything that I've done. I really triggered a whole digital innovation project within the company together with, uh, with a team of great people. And um, I'm really grateful for the opportunity that, that I got because now I'm 24 years old, just turned 24, last week was my birthday. And I already have two years of project management experience. I got relevant certificates that I got on the job because I thought I could perfect myself in the way of working, to say so. And of course, I, I, I had some epic fails during that time, but from that I learned a lot and quickly. I'm not a guy who's gonna trip over some kind of mistake twice not at all i'm gonna fuck up something big once and then it's gonna be one big lesson for me and everything is gonna be way smoother after that which of course happens with every new kid on the block to say so but you know i, I on the side i was as well working on this move to switzerland they're preparing everything and getting everything ready and I'm, I'm still well i'm completely done with that i'm still searching for a job so i quit my job even though i haven't found a job in switzerland this is not something I advise people to do. In my case, it's possible because I'm not financially in, financially dependent on my job. I already had saved up enough money and have a lot of different sources of income, um, which makes sure that I can pay my bills for the couple, well, let's say the couple, next couple of six months if, if, if I didn't have a job at all. So I'm good. I mean that I, I don't want to work for six months? No, I really want to continue my career and continue learning to say so. I really like my job and I really uh, love the stuff that I do. And maybe I'm even kind of a workaholic because if I don't have a job, I kind of, I don't know, tend to freak out slash have these random panic attacks of stuff because I don't 
don't have anything to do or I'm not moving forward in my mind. I'm not setting steps towards improving myself or having a bigger goal in life, which I'm trying to achieve. So because of that, um, of course, I'm really, really looking for a job in Switzerland, anywhere in the German part, asking people to do that. One of the reasons why I did it is because uh, I already set this goal for myself to go to Switzerland and I was working really hard on it. And because of that, and because of the fact that I already kind of had this I'm done feeling in my, in my well, let's say current ex company that I just quit last week. Um, so I, I just wanted to end it there. I finished the projects which I started and some of them are being released in the next couple of months, but my vision slash project idea was already done. So I, I, and those were big, big things. So I was already like, okay, I'm, I'm satisfied with what I've achieved and now it's time to do something else. And I didn't want to start anything new because I couldn't finish it in that company. So because of the fact that I'm already looking for a job in Switzerland. So I said, you know, I don't have the motivation anymore to start something new and to work, continue working on this product in this company. So I said, you know, it's a good time to quit. Only because of not having motivation for that project, for that project, but it will also give me extra motivation to find a job because now I'm out of a job and you don't want a gap in your resume. Trust me, you don't want that if you have any experience with searching jobs, searching for jobs and you have a gap in your resume. That's that's a no, no or big question mark for any HR department or hiring manager. I just in generally want more out of life, I guess, than I currently have. Yeah, that's a good way of, of forming it. I want more out of life. And one of the things that triggered me was the last video of Yes Theory, um, the channel that I've mentioned multiple times in videos in the past that really push me or makes the videos make me push myself out of my comfort zone. And um, I've done it multiple times before and they were the reason why I, like years ago, I went out to do say more yes to say so and, and do more things that I was not comfortable with, um, throw myself in the deep, and because of that, I've developed tremendously like a human. I was really, really drawn back and let's say kind of, kind of autistic, I guess. Um, no offense to really autistic people, but really drawn back in my own world and just not having some real goal and purpose and stuff in life. And then when I started doing sales in a retail shop, um, I had to approach people, I had to speak to people and I just learned to become more social by, by a job. And the reason I took the job was because of a video of Yes Theory. They said, you know, you have to chase goals in life and I wanted to go more and more and more and more. And I'm moving forward. But the last year, I just have a feeling that I'm kind of stuck because I cannot get to Switzerland. I still don't have a job. And it is a step of my bigger plan or goal that I have in life. And I'm not giving up on that. So I'm just gonna continue searching in Switzerland, even though I have some ongoing processes currently in Switzerland, it's really slow and there's nothing really, let's say, black on white yet to say so on paper. And I think now I have the time to focus more on myself, to focus on YouTube, to focus on my German skills, finish my German skills and focus on searching a job, focus on working out really, taking care of myself the upcoming time. So um, I'm not gonna quit, or I'm not gonna quit searching for a job. I'm gonna continue doing that. But on, on the side, I can do more. I can improve my German. I can work out so I can feel a bit more fit and a bit more confident again. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really working on that. So it's not like I'm not gonna do anything at all. No, I'm really someone who has to do something all the time. I get crazy if I don't do anything for a long period of time. Yes Theory uploaded the last video and it was about making, a, 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 let's say a video for someone who's looking for a job, a promotional video slash application video. And it was awesome. I really, it really inspired me, but yeah, I, I, will, I would love to have a shot like that. So I'm gonna tag Yes Theory as well in this video. Maybe you're gonna see this video, this story and be interested in it. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna see what's gonna happen. And um, I guess I, it's all or nothing now. It really is. And because it's all or nothing, you're gonna work extra hard for it. And I really have, already have that feeling like, oh shit, I quit my job and I really have to get going again because otherwise 
this whole goal that I have in life and all my plans that I have planned out to do and the things I would like to do are not, not gonna come through. I'm gonna, not gonna be able to do them to say so. I wanted to say with this video that I will continue uploading but the main focus will be on myself the next couple of, let's say, weeks, months, depending on when I'm gonna find a job. But I'm really gonna focus on developing myself when it comes to skills which I will be needing in the future and just the mental state, to say so. I just really need a new step or some progress because if I don't see progress, I'm, I'm really getting down because of that. I, I lack motivation if I don't get progress or see progress, especially when I'm working so hard and trying so hard and there's no progress whatsoever, um, then it's extra painful to say so. So I hope you guys now know what's going on, why I was so busy the last couple of weeks with work, why I quit my job, what the reason behind it is and what I'll be doing the next couple of weeks and maybe months, depending on if I'm going to find a job or not. So. Let's see if we can grab uh, Yes Theory's attention and maybe they want to help out. If not, then so be it. But um, yeah, it's all or nothing. Hope you guys are gonna stick with me on this story and on this channel to find out if it's gonna be nothing or it's gonna be all or slash everything. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because 72% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. And I see you guys in the next video. Ciao. Perfect.